In Mastercam 2024, we can now manipulate toolpath chains by double-clicking on their arrows while in the chain manager. This interface enhancement streamlines how we can control and modify our selections without changing any underlying functionality. Let's try this feature out on this oil pan, one of this year's signature parts. I will start with a simple 2D contour operation and chain one of the open pockets towards the front side of the part. We want to climb mill this cut, keeping the cutter on the left side of the part. I'm going to make sure that I click the end of the chain that I want the cutter to lead into. I will leave most of the parameters set to their default settings, just selecting my tool and checking my linking parameters. Now that we have this toolpath created, we can access the chain manager by clicking the geometry icon. Right click in the background to add a chain and select the remaining entities. Let's take a look at what would happen if we were to accidentally select the chain in the opposite direction. Right away, we can see the problem. Prior to Mastercam 2024, we would have to scroll through the chain manager to find a chain and manipulate it. Now, however, we can simply double click the larger arrow of the chain in question to reverse its direction. This looks a lot better. If we click the geometry icon again, not only can we change the cut direction, but we can also change the side in which the cutter compensates to. We do this by double clicking on the smaller perpendicular arrows. This is the same as the change side function in the chaining manager's right click menu. A welcomed addition to this area of the software is the ability to now find a chain in the manager by highlighting or single clicking an arrow itself. Let's open up the geometry of the 2D area mill toolpath that's already created on this part. The automatic regions tab has quite a few number of chains selected. Gone are the days of searching through each chain one by one. Now we can just single click on the chain in question and it will highlight in the manager. If we want to change the size of the arrows, a quick way to edit them is to right click on one. The arrow settings configuration page will appear. This setting is also available in the system configuration on-screen control tab. It's important to note that these features have not changed any underlying functionality of the chaining manager itself. Rather, they've been added to improve the overall user interface. Hopefully these chaining enhancements can help streamline your workflow. Thank you for watching.